If we don't have a contract, it's still a hypothetical. Dude, I had a uh, wholesaler call me two weeks ago, and he sent me this deal, and he's like, hey, I need to know what I can contract this for. I'm like, why are you calling me? Like, just contract it and tell me if you want to sell it. And he's like, no, I've switched my model. I tried to do flips and stuff, and now I'm just going back to wholesaling where I make all my money. But he's still calling me to figure out what he can buy stuff for. It doesn't make any damn sense. Did did you tell him to call his coach? I did not. Like, I was just, this dude's been around a long time. I was like, why are are you calling me? But but you and... I guarantee you, you get the same calls I do. It's when people you have before, you may not now, yeah. but it's when people are afraid to go to a tertiary market or secondary market where we play and they want to come out and make an offer and try to make a lick out there where we're at every day. They always call. And yeah. then they're like, well, you tell me what to negotiate it for and then pay me 30 grand or some shit. And I'm like, this is a weird game. I'm not doing uh, that. I don't, and I'm not, I quit. It's like, it's like Biggins, my son. You know what I mean? He don't. We we punch, we play, but when play time's over, he don't whack me. You know what I mean? He might whack somebody else, but he ain't gonna come up and sucker punch me because I he knows what's coming back. He, I I put up those boundaries with all those people years ago, and, well, that, and 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 it might sound rude and mean, but I'm like, look, guy, like all you're sending me right now is a lead. Like I don't I don't need you in this transaction if you're not even yeah. gonna go do the bare minimum. Like, well, that's what I told the guy. I, I, I wouldn't mean to. I was just like, look, you don't even have a deal. Whenever yeah. you get that contract, call me back and I'll tell you yes or no. You just yeah. tell me what you want to sell it for and you're going to get a yes yeah. or no. I, like put all that time and energy <laughs> into it and then he probably can't even execute on getting the contract signed. Well, that's the other side of it. It's like what you told me the very first time I talked about that, like deals. And it's like if we don't have a contract, it's still a hypothetical. Yeah. yeah. We send so many people agreement on price and everything that will never yeah. sign. It's just it's so bewildering, but. That is funny. In real life, I was a little bit. I've never thought about that. (laughs) Well, no, Braxton comes to me and he's like, "I'm like, I don't give a fuck. Just contract it and then talk to me about it because it's all hypotheticals until somebody signs on the on the dotted line." Mm -hmm. And I don't do hypotheticals. I've never thought that is a a real lesson, though. I've never thought about all the ones that have been sent that we all agreed to that they just like decided not to do it. Not Mm -hmm. will not sign that. You got to chase them. You got to touch them seven more times before they sign the contract. And we and we do ch- continue to follow up with them. Yeah, until they we get old us. stuff all the time. But 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 that's part of the process. That's why when people are like, you know, I, I see these videos of people giving them pop quizzes about their property, investing all this time and energy, and there might might even be such a good deal, their old palms start sweating. You know what I mean? They can almost taste it. Their family's going to come out of poverty on this deal. You know what I mean? Their expectations are so fucking high. They're like, oh, I got them on the ropes. I've won. You know what I mean? We're gonna, we're and then lift us up. they either won't get, they get off the phone. You're like, I'll get back with you. And they get off the phone, which is the weirdest fucking move to me ever. And then they start talking to the camera about what a great deal it's going to be. And I'm like, you didn't even ask for the business or two. They ask for the business, but they don't send it in writing. They don't put it to them in writing instantly. Like get it to them and stay on the phone with them. It's in your DMs. Let's go over it right now. Sign here, here, and here. What does this mean? Oh, you know. Have you ever had anybody ask about the tide waters on the on the contract? Mm-mm. Never. Never. But Never. It, it's just I I don't I've always just oh yeah this page just talks about tide waters and stuff. We can go over it if you want. There's no yeah. tide waters but here. You go this over is Waxhatchee, you... Texas. My, yeah. my script every time is hey look lawyers drew this up. I'm not an attorney, so if you want to talk to one, that's fine. But you know here's yeah. kind of what you got to look for here. Yeah. Here's here, the price. Here's the property. Here's where it says as is, and we're paying the closing cost. Yeah. That's I, it. I always point out, and it says right here, nothing changes hands until it's closed and funded. Yep. And that's that's all. Section always, ten, possession. Yep. Like that's right. It's too easy. So so you do that <clears throat> on the phone with them, and if they'll sign, they'll sign right then, mm-hmm. right. But if they won't, they'll be like, what, what, what's the most common objection you get then? Uh, i got to talk to my wife, my husband, my that's, realtor, my right. uncle, aunt, grandpa, mom, whoever. That's, that's right. I, if, you're, if your granddad was here, what do you think he'd say about it? Well, um, you know, he probably wouldn't like the price on it. He th- you know, he'd probably get more. <laughs> Every single time. Uh-huh. Wonderful. What, 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 what do you think you think he'd get for it? Well, I'd want 20 grand more. 20 grand more. Great. I'm going to get it. To you with twenty grand more on it. Can you sign today? Because that's not the granddad's objection. Mm-hmm. And talk to the granddad. Yeah. Don't know what he's thinking. Don't know what he's thinking. He might have wanted twenty grand less. Yeah. Like, so so I'm gonna send it to you right now. I'm gonna improve that price for you right now on the phone. I'll I'll have that to you in your DMs right now. Can I get a signature today? Can we do business now? Can Can I get this locked up? Well, why are you being? Do you ever get? Why are you being so? Why are you in such a hurry? Hey, look. Well, to be honest with you, I'm looking at a lot of properties. 
Um, kind of struck between a few. I actually have a yes from another one I'm going to go look at later, but I really like yours. I'd like to get this done, the title work started, but... Where know, did that come from? Card on you. Create what? urgency. Well, create urgency, but where did that line... Where oh, did, the exact where, line from you. And, and I pulled that out of... I was like, I need a close that gets around this, right? And and it pulls time out of it, but doesn't make it their about, fault. Like, yeah, because all of his are car dealership analogies. Yes. But he's like, hey, look, that's fine. You can go home, think about it, talk about it, pray about it, do whatever you got to do. But I can't promise you it's going to be here tomorrow. That's right. And that's it. I'm, I'm looking at a lot of deals right now. That's it. I'd love for you to look at it. I don't want you to make a rash decision. Just know that I may not have as much. If you come back tomorrow. Or any at all. Yeah, if you come back tomorrow, you know, I've, I'm, I'm just a small guy. You know, this is just me and my, my, my kids, you know, out here doing this. You know, I got a limited amount of money. So if you want to sign right now. And, I mean, those things come so natural to us now. Mm -hmm. Why? Reps. We fish every fucking and training. day. Yeah, we train and take reps every single day. And, you know, if you're not, if, you're, if your guy can't do that, if they can't role play like that in front of you right now, and and really our our um, the one thing that Cardone you did for us was like shorten down our fucking the amount of time we'll spend with yes. somebody. Yeah, your interaction times. Yeah, a quarter of what it was. Yeah, I mean, I, I look, I would love to have enough deals to talk to you know four hundred people a day for four minutes or whatever it is. You know what I mean? But if not, it's either shit or get off the pot. It's a four minute, five minute long conversation unless you know they just keep rattling on about nothing yep. <laughs> for hours and you just kind of wait for your spot and then Bam, boom, get again. in there and 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 take control back of the call because well, i mean i mean because you really only have a couple of things that you have to say in the call and whatever they say is whatever they say but you're just getting through your parts and yeah. by the end of it you know you should have shown enough value add to, to feel right. comfortable asking for the business and, and send them something and then at the point that even if it is twenty thousand dollars more they sign we go look at it and we need it at the twenty thousand dollar less once they've seen our face, once they've known that we've came out there and looked at it. Real people, not we're scammers. We're real people, not scammers. Getting that $20,000 discount is doable. It's way more doable than it is to sit there and argue with them on the phone.